studio shoot four. This is our picture. It's got a computer. Got a light box. Both projecting light into the camera, so we had to balance that out with the strobes. Got some fancy notes there. Shoot in digital, 5D with a pocket wizard. Slave back to our little screw power pack back there. Uh, took a shot of the little color swatch so we can make sure everything's balanced and post. And let's see. There's another shot. Let's see if we can talk to Mr. Richard about our meter. So tell us about our little complicated uh, lighting situation here. What all we had to meter and how we corrected too bright and some that were too dark. Nicely did. Uh, we had to balance exposure between strobes and a constant light source. Uh, our chosen constant light sources are Geos Lightbox and our teammate's laptop. <clears throat> So how we went about metering is we spot metered the light box, which came out at f11 and a half at sixtieth of a second. Okay. I then metered, spot metered the laptop on a more monotone screen color. Gotcha. And it came out at f11 and one second. So. Needing to go ahead and zone the light box to the proper exposure, we guess about now eight, eight and a half. So, for easy purposes, we went ahead and did eight and a half, so we would lose that half stop that we had on F11. So, we come out zoned at 115th at F11. Now, it was still a little bit too bright, trying to figure out ways to get it down a little bit lower, so we cut the light box power in half. And knock it down one stop to one eighth, and then we still needed it to be lower to match the laptop because there's no way we could do one exposure just to get them both on the same thing. So we knocked the aperture up to get the exposure, the the time slower on the, the light box. So the new light box exposure after going all the way up to 22 was a half a second which means all we have to do is keep the light box on for a half a second, regardless of what the other exposures were. So, so that's kind of our biggest variable is the light box. Right. Because we can't control, it doesn't have a timer or anything, we gotta do it by hand. Right. So you're just gonna unplug it? No, we just turn switch. the switch. Turn the switch off? Good and idea. Then, um, so the laptop getting equivalent to F22 is four seconds at F22. Okay. So, given our aperture that we knew we had to shoot for, we set up our strobes to essentially fill in and give a little highlights to the more shiny objects in our scene, but generally to kind of like the overall scene a little bit better. So, we, all we had to do is mirror those for F22 and put them wherever we want, and that's pretty much it. So, a lot of talky there about uh, metering and apertures and dealing with long exposures and fill lights and whatnot. Right. So uh, excellent, man. That sounded like a lot of math. And uh, let's get busy on the shoot. Yay. <laughs>